I am Thorun King and in this video we are going to solve hacker rank absolute permutation problem. So according to this problem, P is considered to be an absolute permutation if the difference between position of i and i is equal to k holds true for every i which belongs to 1 to n including. Given n and k, print the lexographically smallest absolute permutation P. If no absolute permutation exists, then print minus 1. So there is an example also which says that let n equal to 4 giving us an array of position 1, 2, 3, 4. If we use one best indexing, create a permutation where every position of i minus i modulus is equal to k. If k equal to 2, we could rearrange them into 3, 4, 1, 2. So as you can see in the example, here is a position of i that means the value at that index position and this is the index position which is i and have their absolute difference. So if we take 3 minus 1 then it will be 2, if we take 4 minus 2 then it is 2, if we take modulus of 1 minus 3 then it will be minus 2 and its mod will be 2, so that means 2, similarly 2 and 4 will also result as 2. So here is the function description which says that the absolute permutation has the following parameters and the upper bound of the natural number 2 be considered inclusive and k the integer difference between each element and its index. So here is our coding section, so as you can see in this coding section there is a function named as the absolute permutation and it has two parameter n and k. So we need to complete this function in order to solve this problem. So okay, first of all we will take the con easiest condition that means if k is 0. So that means the absolute difference is 0 which shows that the difference between the index and the value at that index position is 0. So it is only possible when both index and the value at that index position is same. So that means the value at index position 2 will be 2, the value at index position 3 will be 3 and so on. So for doing this we need to first of all check the condition. So if k is 0 then we will simply return a list having the value same as the index. So for that we will use a for loop and take i for index and its value will also be i. So that is we will take a list and here i for i in range 1 to n plus 1 because the indexing starts from 1 and n plus 1 will be excluded that means it will go up to n. So this is a simple case then our next case will be the case in which there is no chance of being an absolute permutation that means the condition in which we need to return minus 1 as the answer. So for that we will again put a condition so if n modulus even multiple of k that means 2 into k so 2 into k does not equal to 0 then in this condition we need to return minus 1 as our answer. So I know most of you have not understood what this point is. So let me explain you this condition by an example and when we will summarize the example then you will get the condition. So let's take an example and in this example n will be considered as 20 and k will be 2. So according to our problem our indexing will start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and goes up to 20. Then the absolute difference which is k which is will be 2. So according to the indexing and the absolute difference the value that the list will be as 3, 4, 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6 and so on. So if we look into the patterns of the list so the first two position that means 1, 2 will be the will contain 3, 4 then the next two that means 3, 4 will contain 1, 2. So that means indexing 1, 2, 4 contains the value of 1, 2, 4. So that means the first four will contain 1, 2, 4 then 5 to 8 will contain 5 to 8, the next 4 will contain 9 to 12, the next 4 will contain 12 to 16 and next 4 will contain 60 to 20. That means the even multiple of 2 which is 4, that means 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 will be the absolute permutation otherwise they will not be absolute permutation. That's why we have kept 2 into k not k because 2 into k will be the even multiple of k. So if n modulus even multiple of k which is 2k does not equal to 0 then it will not be absolute permutation. So that's why we have kept the condition. So I, I hope you have understood the condition. So now let's return to our coding section. So as we have done the easiest condition that means in which k is 0 
then the condition in which absolute permutation cannot be formed that means n modulus even multiple of k does not equal to 0. So in that case we have written minus 1. So our last case is the one in which absolute permutation can be formed. So the absolute permutation can be formed in the else case. So what we are going to do in the else case first of all we will understand through the example. So from the example you can say the value of n is 8 and the value of k is 2. So from the example you can easily see that there is a pair between 1 and 3, 2, 4, 5, 7 and 6, 8. That means the index position 1 is put as a value at the index position 3. And similarly the index position 3 is put as a value in index position 1. So that means from the example you can clearly see that we need to select the values and the index positions. That means if the value at i is i plus k where k is the absolute difference then the value at i plus k will be i similarly as 1 3 prayer. Okay so because we need to solve the problem by the smallest lexicographical order. So for doing this first of all we need to have a list. So let's say a list as res. So initially its value will be none and the size of this list will be of n plus 1 because the indexing start from 1 not from 0. So our next case is that we will use a loop so that we can tra traverse through the or you can say list or res none list. So for i in range 1 and it will go up to n plus 1 because ok and now here we will check if the value has not been modified that means res of i is none if the value is none that means the value has not been modified and if it is so then we will need to swap it so res of i will be equal to i plus k that means the index position at i will be equal to the i plus k and similarly res of i plus k sorry i plus k will be equal to i so here there is a swapping between i and i plus k so at last when all the values will be swapped and there will be no none value in the res then we will come out of this for loop and at last here we will return the list so there is one more thing which we need to keep in mind that the size of res is of n plus 1 but we need to return of size 1 sorry n so here we will return res of 1 to n because we need do not need to consider the index position 0 so that's why we are returning res 1 to n so now we will run this code and check whether it is working or not. So as you can see it is showing congratulations. Now we will submit this. So okay. One more. It will be time dot or not. Okay. So it is showing congratulations. So as you can see our all the test cases have been passed. So let me summarize this for you. So if k is 0, the edgiest case in which the absolute difference is 0. So that means the value and the index position is same. So we simply return a list in which all the values are equal to their index position. That means at the starting point the index position is 1 and its value will be 1. Then 2, 2, 3, 3 and so on. L if the second case in which absolute permutation cannot be formed that means n modulus even multiple of k does not equal to 0. So in this case we will simply return minus 1. Otherwise the case in which absolute permutation can be formed and we need to solve this problem using the least or the smallest lexicographical order. So first of all we have created a list and initially all the values in the list will be none so that we can identify which value has not been traversed currently. So for i in range 1 to n plus 1 so we will tra be traversing through res or list. So if res of i is none that means the value has not been traversed then we will swap the index position and the values with this two lines and at last we will return res starting from 1 not from 0. So 1 to last. So this is our simple code. So this was our simple solution for the absolute permutation problem of the hacker rank. So if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to this channel then click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching this is Sachin signing off.